there, After Buzz TV fans. We are here with Aaron Zek and Kara Eberly, the Hello. ladies of Team Ruby. How are you guys doing today? <laughs> Doing amazing. How are you doing? <laughs> I mean, we're at RTX here for it's like a what the seventh or eighth RTX? Oh gosh. Or sixth, fifth is Ruby. It's absolutely amazing, and it's good to see you again. And thank you all for having yeah. us back. Thank you. Hello. Oh, bucks. <laughs> Hold it correctly. Yeah. Uh, hey. It is five years of Ruby. Yeah, guys. How does Holy it feel crap. moving into season six? I'm so excited. I have no idea what's going to happen in it because I haven't really recorded all that much yet, but apparently everyone else has, so I hope you guys are really happy and satisfied. But I'm, I'm super excited. Um, I think it's going to be... Well, I do know one cool thing. Ooh. I love the, the, like, I know something, but that's it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I know something, too. All, all I will say is that I, after reading the first um, couple episodes of scripts, I said, What? And I won't say if that's, you know, a what in a bad way or a what in a good way. So there's my little tease for season six. But um, you will not be disappointed at all. I'm excited. Well, you will not be disappointed. <laughs> that's very eloquent phrasing. Well, season five, volume five, ended with the team finally getting back together. Yeah. How does it feel to have them all in one place again? Oh, I'm so excited. I'm, I, was, I was getting a little tired of the, like, Game of Thrones style. Like, right. all right, you, and now you, and now you. <laughs> And, um, yeah, no, I think it's going to be good. I think uh, Blake owes somebody an apology, and um, then hopefully we can get on with our lives. Right? Yeah, I mean, kind of like what you were saying, piggybacking off that, it's going to be exciting to finally see the team back together and using all of their com camaraderie and how they've grown as individuals and all yeah. matured. Um, I think it'll be really, it'll be a different dynamic that the audience, you know, is going to get to see. Yeah. And it's going to be a lot of fun. You know, it's something that I know everyone's wanted. They're like, when are they all going to come back? When are they going to be yeah. back together? So uh, it's going to be something that, you know, like I said, will not disappoint, but at the yeah. same time, it'll be something new and fun. That's totally true. I totally, for, I, f I don't know why, but I forgot that everybody actually on their own adventures did like grow from their adventures. And now we're all coming back as almost a completely different team. We're adulting. So we're adulting. <laughs> we're adulting so hard. Uh, to that point, uh, Weiss, at the beginning of last season, uh, she was introduced in the character short as somebody who was told that she needed to learn how to stand on her own because her sister wouldn't be always be there to, exactly. to come in and save her and come to the rescue. Mm -hmm. So how did you feel getting a chance to see her shine and do just that at the top of the season? Oh, obviously I was so proud of her and so excited. And I think that, you know, that trailer really set it up for you know, what's going to happen in the future of, you know, Weiss is going to have to learn to be independent and be on her own. And I think we even saw that, you know, in volume four, when she finally was able to tell everyone to shut up at the fundraiser and she stood up to her family. <laughs> that was so cool. I was so proud of her for that moment. So I think that it really just kind of set the tone for the future for her. Yeah. Now, uh, you mentioned everybody off doing their own thing, and Blake had to learn a very similar lesson in terms of turning around and facing her problems head on. Yes. Uh, how? Uh, what I wanted to ask specifically was about Elia, yeah. and knowing now that Elia has been in love with Blake this whole time, mm -hmm. how do you think that will end up changing their dynamic? Um, I can't say anything. <laughs> Because <laughs> I know. <laughs> oh, oh, I was just thinking, like, hypothetical. Yeah. But, oh, goodness. Um, well, I don't know. Because, well, everybody's kind of in love with Blake. I'm, I'm <laughs> sort of learning. Adam, Yang, Ilya, I'm just kidding. Son. Like, like, uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> like, everyone, it's like, everybody loves Blake. Um, but I, but I'm... Blake love? Herself. I hope she's that learning she, too. I'm, I, I think she's slowly figuring it out, but I, yeah, I don't know. I, I'm not sure how, I am sure how it will change the dynamic. Um, <laughs> so I can't say anything, but I'm excited for um, the White Fang to do stuff. Yeah, to that point, <laughs> to that point. <laughs> That's an awful segue. <laughs> <laughs> no, you brought up an excellent point because you brought up Adam. Oh, and yes. yesterday, everybody at the Ruby panel was treated to a little character short. Yes. Uh, focus the only character short. The only character short that we're getting this season. Uh, so how, do you guys, well, how did you guys feel about getting to see this sort of side of this character and get a little oh. insight into the way he thinks? I loved it so much because you finally got to see a bit of the background as to like why he's so intense, like why he is so bad, and then how Blake could have gotten easily sucked into that manipulative relationship 
that's so, like whenever people talk to me about how they they like ship Adam and Blake together, I'm just like, this is the most toxic relationship. And and this this short just showed that, um, and it showed his like subtle psychological um, maneuverings, and I yeah. thought it was so cool to see. Oh yeah, I mean I I agree with everything you yeah. said. Obviously, I mean I think that it's it's also another you know stepping stone as we talk about for you know we're learning more about the characters and where they came from and their backgrounds. Um, it kind of you know it was reminiscent for me of. You know, seeing how Weiss got to be where she was, you know, it's, you get to see everyone's backstories and learning more about them. And I think that that's uh, going to be, you know, something that we all learn in the future as far as relationships go for all of them and where they all came from. So I think it'll be very helpful. We'll see. So what would you guys say was your favorite moment from last season? Because everybody had a lot of standout moments. <laughs> oh, goodness. You go first. I okay. My favorite bit was when um, Blake burnt her house down. <laughs> It's, it's, it's a slight joke answer, and it's mostly because it's been so long I can't really remember everything that happened. But I love when Blake just kind of comes out to the out to the crowd and being like, "We did this. The Faunas did this." Like, no, baby girl, you did. Me specifically, you did I did this. No, it's just like this was a group effort. Remember, remember that when you, I wasn't there when you died. No. So that was I probably think we my can favorite. all learn yeah. a little something about what we all collectively yes. did. Yes. This was all our fault. <laughs> well, I think it's kind of obvious, though, but spoiler alert, if you haven't seen it, but my favorite part was when Jean finally, A, learned his uh, semblance of healing. Took yes. him long enough. I know, right? <laughs> but hey, he used it for me, and he saved my life, and I've always been you know, a Jean fan. I've always wanted yeah. you know, Weiss to give Jean a chance, so I'm hoping this at least will make her be a little bit nicer to him, because she owes him her life, literally. So, <laughs> well, No one owes anything to anybody. <laughs> <laughs> and and for Jean, Jean, better late than never, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <very laughs> He's true. such a late bloomer. <laughs> he, <laughs> is. he tries his best. Yeah. Um, and so, final question: the the whole team is moving to Atlas. If it were up to you guys, what would be first on the agenda when they get there? I don't know what Atlas is. <laughs> I'm so bad. I only remember Menagerie, and that's it. So when they get there, they're going to look at a map and be like, this is where we are. So that I so, personally, Aaron, can know where we are. So asking for directions. Yes. Asking for directions. <laughs> um, knowing why, she'd probably want like exactly a map layout of the land, knowing where everything is. She's yeah. probably going to want to go try to find winter. This is all Kara talking, by the way. This is not... Uh, Wise talking, but um, I'm just excited for the whole adventure that they're all going to go through. I mean, every they turn a corner and there's something new and fun, so oh, we'll get to see. <laughs> I'm excited for all the fight scenes too. I'm oh, sure yeah. there'll be fight scenes. That scene is so cool. Oh, and sushi. Ooh, she does like tuna a lot. I do. That sounds delicious. On that note, uh, final thoughts for all the RTX attendees this year. Thank you all so much for coming. Again, I'm, obviously, we wouldn't be able to do the show without you. Yes. It's always, always fun yes. to be here and always exciting. Every year, bigger and better. Yes. So thank you. We, I love you. Yes. I know you do, too. My whole life has changed because of this show. So thank you. I love you. All right. Well, thank you guys so, so much for taking yeah. the time to talk to us. Thank you. thank you all for watching. We'll see you next time.